Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial about exporting a Blender scene and camera to Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial, we will learn how to translate our scene from Blender to Unreal. We will take a look on how to prepare our scene data for export and make sure that everything translates smoothly. Unreal Engine has great tools to do blocking and camera animation. However, in a VFX pipeline, it is common that data comes in from other software sources. To align all input and data, we will make use of universal scene description. Let's dive right in. So here we are in Blender. As you can see, our camera has been put together with a couple of locators. When exporting, it's best to keep the camera as clean as possible. Therefore, we are going to bake the camera. I'm going to select the locator that contains the camera and press Select Hierarchy. Then I'm just going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate the object. This is just as a backup. Then I will go into the locator and select the camera. I'm going over to Object, Animation and press Bake Action. In here it is recommended to tick all the boxes you see here. That way it will be exported correctly and obviously set your frame range. And now you can see that our camera has been successfully baked. Our data is now ready to be exported to Unreal Engine. So let's do that right now. I'm going to select this cone and then hold shift and select all of these other objects. And then also hold control and click to also add the camera. Then head over to file, export and press universal scene description. You can choose a location and name the file however you want. I'm just going to call mine scene camera version one. Let's take a closer look at the settings. Make sure that animation is toggled. This is because we have a camera animation and we'd like to send it over. Also, make sure that selection only is toggled. This way we won't get any loose objects that we don't want into our scene. Once you're happy and satisfied, you're ready to press export universal scene description. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5. By default, we cannot import USD files. For it to work, we need to activate a plugin first. So we can go to Edit and go to Plugins and type in USD. You can see the USD importer pop up and now you just have to toggle it. It's going to give you a little prompt that it's still in beta, but don't worry about it and just press yes. Sadly, Unreal Engine really wants us to restart to make the USD work. So let's just listen to it and press on restart now. So Unreal Engine has restarted and now we can actually use the USD importer. So let's go over to window and go to virtual production. And down there, you can see that USD stage has appeared. Click on the USD stage and here we can open our file. Click on file and press open. So here we are just going to locate our USD file and make sure to open it up. By opening the file, you can now see that Unreal can actually see the assets in the USD stage. However, we have to do one more action to actually import them as Unreal Asset. So under the action menu, press import. And now we can just create a new folder on where we want the objects to be placed. So I'm just going to call mine scene camera, but you can call it whatever you feel like today. I'm just going to press okay. And all of these settings, I'm not going to change anything and just press on import. Just close the USD stage. And now by checking into the scene camera folder, you can witness that we have a level sequence, materials and static meshes folder. We have our files imported and now let's make the camera work. So press on the level sequence and open up the level sequence. As we play through the timeline, you can see that not much is happening. This is because we still have to add the camera into the sequencer. First, let's go ahead and create a camera cut track. Once we've done that, you can select the camera here and drag it onto the sequencer. As we are scrubbing through the timeline, you can now see that the camera is working, but there are a couple of problems here. As of Blender 3.1, there's a problem with USD, which kind of messes up the data, but don't worry, it's easy to fix. It's possible that you're watching this in the future and this is already fixed. So if so, you can skip this step. Let's take a look at the fix. By hovering over these settings, we can select the camera component. And we can see that there has been a translation error here. We can see that the focal length is a thousand, which is obviously very wrong. Let's take a look at our sensor size. 
As you can see, Blender made a mistake translating the sensor data to Unreal Engine, so we'll have to correct that. So we'll take the comma and try and move it two spaces to the left. We'll do the same for the other value as well. And now the sensor size should be correct. Now let's introduce the final step, and that's changing the focal length back to 24 millimeters. Basically input the focal length that you have chosen for your Blender camera. And now you can see that the camera is working perfectly as you had it in Blender. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you learned something new today. If you'd like to see the channel grow, think about subscribing, leaving a comment down below and pressing the like button. It would really help me out. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.